Hello friends, welcome back to the Wholesome Witch Kitchen and welcome to today's episode. Today we are making chickpea fritters for abundance. So our theme this week is abundance. We are honing in on nature here. We are appreciating springtime and the abundance of new life that's springing forth everywhere outside. Um, so we're going to harness some of that and bring it into our kitchen. So the chickpea fritters main ingredient is of course chickpeas. Um, we've also got some green onion, lots of spices in there. Um, they carry a lot of properties for prosperity, abundance, and wealth. So really great for any of those three things. Um, if you want to bring in some elements to your kitchen, you could wear the color green. Um, green's always great for abundance and it gives an extra nature connection to our mother earth. Stones, green stones are really good as well. You could do peridot or green jade or moss agate. I really like those ones. Uh, citrine is really good for abundance or selenite is also really good. Lots of options. And then for incense, um, basil, peppermint, cinnamon, patchouli, um, sandalwood, they're all really good for abundance. Um, so it's up to you if you want to bring any of those things in. You really just need you and your ingredients. Um, but those are just a little extras in case. So I have all my ingredients and we're going to go through those and then we will get mixing these up. They come together pretty quickly. Uh, basically mix everything in your bowl, make your patties and then fry them in a pan. Um, a lot of burger or fritter kind of recipes will suggest using a food processor. Um, and I mentioned in one of my previous videos that I tend to do a lot of things by hand, um, even when kitchen appliances are called for. So for these, you could use a food processor if you want. Um, it is faster. I like to do it by hand with a masher and a fork. Um, it gives me more time to connect with what I'm doing and connect with my ingredients and focus on my intentions and visualize, kind of make a whole process out of it. Um, it's also more relaxed. It doesn't seem rushed. It's quiet, food processors can be loud. Anyways, it's totally up to you. You can do the food processor if you'd like, um, or you can do it in a bowl with a masher, like I'm gonna do. Um, if you do use a food processor, just make sure you don't process it too much so that it gets really mushy and wet. So you want it to still be a chunky consistency. <laughs> it's um, easier to over process with the food processor than it is with your hands. Um, so, okay, let's go through our ingredients and then we will start making these fritters. All right, so ingredients for today. We, of course, have one can of chickpeas, which we're going to drain. Save the aquafaba. Strain it into a bowl because you're going to use it as an additional ingredient later on, as one of your wet ingredients. So, yeah, make sure you save the aquafaba. We have some green onion we're going to mix in there, nutritional yeast. Salt, lots of spices, turmeric, pepper, garlic, cumin, onion, and chili powder. Um, I like spices. They really add so much to your dish. So you could simplify the spices if you wanted. You don't need to use all of these, but it's a really nice flavor combination. Um, but if you're missing one or something like that, it's still going to work. It's still going to be delicious. So don't worry about it. Um, we have some flour today. I'm using spelt wholemeal flour. You can use all-purpose flour, white flour, oat flour, um, gluten-free flour. Um, it's a binding ingredient. So the only one, I'm not sure if coconut flour would work because it tends to be behave very differently, but most any flour should be okay. Uh, vegetable stock and I have some applewood vegan teas. This is just the best vegan teas in my opinion. It melts really nice. The flavor's delicious. Um, yeah, it's what I recommend. You can get it in the UK, you can get it in the States and Canada. So if you haven't tried it yet, I do recommend you try it. It's so good. Um, that's it. So we are going to drain our chickpeas and mash them first. And then we will add everything else in after. We'll use our trusty potato masher here. Um, if you use a processor, pulse the chickpeas a couple times and then add in everything else. So make sure you scrape down the sides and things like that um, so that everything is well incorporated. 
but yeah, that's it. So we're going to mix this up and then we will fry them in our pan, which takes not very long. Um, maybe three to four minutes per side for the fritters. It makes about six, depending on how big you make them. Um, but they're really tasty and it's my lunch time. So they're gonna be part of my lunch. Okay, let's get going. So we have our mixture here for the fritters. You should be able to form a nice solid ball. So if it's too crumbly and it's falling apart, add a li little bit more vegetable stock or aquafaba. And if it's too sticky and there's just no way you'll be able to form a solid patty from it, then just add a little bit more flour. No big deal, both are very fixable. So for the cheese, I just, I don't measure it. I just sprinkle a little bit on top as the last thing. The cheese and the onions, they go last. Um, and then I just mix it in with my hands. So however much you feel like putting, that's a good amount. Okay, so let's make our patties and we'll get frying them up. are ready looking golden and delicious i'm going to try one of these and i'm going to have a couple with my lunch because it's lunch time for me i will link the recipe down below like always so you can go back to it later um if you try the recipe if you like the recipe please leave a comment let me know and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe down below So good, so good, so easy. Okay, I'm ready to enjoy my lunch. I wish you a beautiful day. Thank you guys so much for being here. See you next time. Really, really yummy. I took too big of a bite. Smoky. All right, I was, she was of course making an appearance here. Smoky. <laughs> she doesn't know she's on camera.